Hey, what's up, guys? Vital up Link here, and I'm helping my brother start out his channel. Um, it's Wubsy, so. Hey, guys, what's up? Um, today we're gonna be talking about the zombie apocalypse, so hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, first we would start out at a location. Uh, both of us, I think, would go to Tops and Gander Mountain. We live in North Tonawanda, so those is probably the safest bet for us to use. Yeah, and it's only about a half hour away, so if we figured out that there was a zombie apocalypse, um, we'd figure out pretty soon so not everybody would be infected, so it would be pretty safe to get over there. And the Gander Mountain and Tops are actually connected, yeah. they're just separated by a little wall, so we could just take that wall out with some supplies. And I think they I think they actually have a door that links them together, and you could always go from roof to roof if yeah. you necessarily need to, or an escape route. But, um, yeah, it's only, we, there's only one road that leads there, so that's the only road we would be able to take. It's kind of a but, busy place. And plus there's a, um, there's a gas station right next to it. Yeah, so, so we'd have, be. we'd have, be good on gas. But it's kind of a busy place, so... Yeah, there wouldn't be a lot of zombies necessarily. So we would want to get there first, and then we'd have to um, like pick and choose. Well, we'd have to get our family first, of course. Yeah, family. I would just take my closest family relatives right now, and then with my other relatives, I'd first pick up the phone because we got to make sure that the phone lines actually work. I'd call them and say like, "Hey, meet us halfway at say this location, maybe in regular Tonawanda." Yeah, That's and funny. like, um, we have relatives that, um, one, one of our grandparents, they live about an hour away, so we'd have to have them drive, we'd give them directions and everything, and we'd, um, have some kind of people watch guard for them and then escort them in so they'd stay safe, but, um, all our relatives that live within the vicinity of us right now, we'd pick up, um, grab their cars and drive over there. Yeah, so Deb, we'd meet up at, uh, Topson Gander Mountain. But we need some supplies before we start leaving. For everybody, I'd think we'd take about a gallon of water a day. Yeah, probably. And um, Gander Mountain and Taps, those are definitely yeah, enough water. In case you guys don't know what that is, Gander Mountain is basically like a camping and um, survival store. So basically surviving the zombie apocalypse. And Tops is um, a huge grocery store with a bakery, um, frozen goods, and non-perishable goods. So it's basically everything you need right there next to each other. Yeah, and that's great. But for weapons, we both have a little different opinion for them. Because some of them will have different upsides and some of them will have different downsides. So why don't you start off first? Alright, um, so for my weapons, for the primary, I'd have... I have two primaries. One's the M4A1. Um, I put a suppressor, extended mag, hybrid sight, and then I'd also um, forge a bayonet onto there in case... Um, I came up to a came close up to a zombie, and then also since there's roofs, I pick the um, FNH ballista with extended mags and suppressor, and then for the sidearm, I have the G17 with extended mag and suppressor. I use the extended mag and suppressor a lot because you don't know how many zombies, and you want to be quiet. And then um, of course you always need handheld weapons in case you run out of ammo. So what I chose was the machete the samurai sword and the tack knife. Um, the machete, just because they can, you can chop up the zombies pretty good with that. Um, samurai sword, it's, you can kind of keep your distance more with the samurai sword than the machete, and tack knife is kind of a last resort in case your arms get tired. Um, so I think that's it for my weapons, how about you? Yeah, but before we get started, I just want to say that we just moved, so all of our things, it would be a little harder to gather. Well, you just moved. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but it would be a little harder to gather, so yeah. But for my primaries, I get a G363. If you don't already know what that is, it's a semi to fully automatic uh, carbine. It's very good, it has high damage and high power and high fire rate. The only problem with the high fire rate is that I'm going to definitely need an extended mag, a suppressor, a flash suppressor, and an ACOG sight for maximum distance. You know what I'll saw? Sorry to interrupt, but I also um, might put a grip on my assault rifle too so I'd have better accuracy. And for my secondary primary, if that works, <laughs> yeah, um, I take an M40A5. That is a great sniper. It is bolt action, so that kind of takes down... Um, fire weight, but yeah, it has, I wouldn't choose a semi-automatic because I don't want to, that would take down accuracy a lot, but um, uh, for my attachment for the MO, 
M4OA5, I would definitely need a suppressor and an extended mag and an ACOG just to keep by my side just in case there's close encounters and it would help me a little better take down zombies. Um, for my sidearms, I just take a Magnum with speed reload. Uh, a Magnum is actually a great pistol. It has high power. It is semi-automatic, so you have to click it back and shoot. But um, yeah, the um, fast speed reload will actually... It, usually you have to put a bullet in a bullet in a bullet and then click it in. But this, it already had it set up, so you just shove it in, lock it, and shoot. But um, yeah, for my hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'd take a machete. We actually have one. We yeah, have one machete, yeah. but it's in the basement, so I don't know if it's even packed out yet. But I mean, we'd go to, since we're going to Gander Mountain, they'd have it anyways. Yeah, just keep the machete, because we won't have any, really, weapons until we get there, so just use the machete just in case we get any close encounters. And actually, on my shoulder, I'd keep a spare knife just in case. Okay, so okay guys, it's Wubsy here and with Vital Uplink. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick commentary. There will be plenty of more to come. So I'll see you next time. Yep, see you guys later.